Welcome back to our journey through the wisdom literature of God and the wisdom as we always know wisdom equals Christ Jesus and as we are aligned and frankly walking with Christ Jesus through the power of the Spirit uh, we can understand uh, certain things we can walk in certain ways we can uh, live according to uh, frankly the wisdom of Christ only granted to us uh, by the understanding of his spirit and so these proverbs as we get to walk through um, have have a little bit of uh, misconceived notions many uh, people are speaking uh, through them they take them right on face value rather than diving deeper than into them understanding that wisdom is Christ and this is once again uh, speaking to our relationship with our loving Father Son and Holy Spirit and so we get to find ourselves in chapter 17 of the Proverbs uh, beginning at verse 17 uh, going through 24 this is uh, really uh, another this is still that section as we've kind of been splitting these sections up uh, about uh, really walking in foolishness or the, the consequences uh, of foolishness in our lives and we'll get to see that um, as well as uh, the responsibility of parents in this in these proverbs uh, being able to uh, utter them uh, the wisdom of God to their children uh, the great responsibility that that is but the consequences when you don't and when you don't live in that in that matter uh, in that manner uh, towards frankly their everlasting wisdom as we get to see in the life with uh, Jesus to come so we begin in verse 17 chapter 17 of the Proverbs um, and it says a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. And so as we see this verse 17, a friend loves at all times, it really speaks to uh, the, the community of brothers and sisters in Christ. A friend loves at all times, and this is something that God has brought together for the purpose uh, of walking in wisdom. And it says a brother is born for adversity, meaning that a brother, not necessarily bloodline, but a brother in Christ is born for adversity, that you're going through trouble or adversity, a brother is there, and a friend is there, loves you at all times, walks through with you, through that trial, through that sorrow, through that adversity. And so uh, keep those people close, keep your eyes open uh, to who God has placed in your life, who has God has brought together in your life for the good uh, during some tough times. Verse 18, a man lacking in judgment strikes hands and pledge and puts up security for his neighbor. So that is making a deal that you shouldn't be making. Uh, some people call it the bribe, uh, but also putting up, uh, puts up security uh, for his neighbor, meaning that as you strike those deals, you're, you're pretty much uh, foretelling that there's going to be conflict. Because um, you, in other translations, it's like a fortified city. You, you build these big walls so that you are protected. But that just brings on, that just uh, speaks about the conflict that you're afraid of, uh, that you want to build security around yourself because uh, you've struck something uh, in a un- judgment or frankly in an unlacking uh, understanding way uh, because it's going to bring about judgment on you. Verse 19, he who loves a quarrel loves sin. He who builds a high gate invites destruction. This is that same kind of proverb, invites destruction. He who builds a high gate, meaning that you're going to be, okay, i got to take care of myself, myself only, uh, because I've been living in this way. I don't have good neighbors. I have enemies. I have conflicts in my life. Uh, I have brought those upon because I have agreed to those. Um, I have, frankly, uh, brought in, invited conflict into my life, so I need to build high walls so that I'm just uh, safe and secure. Verse 20, a man of perverse heart does not prosper. He whose tongue is deceitful falls into trouble. To have a fool for a son brings grief. There is no joy for the father of a, few, of a fool. And the only way that you're a fool is that you don't have the understanding or the wisdom of Christ. The gospel has not been pronounced to you. Not that you believe or not, because the gospel has the power of salvation. Uh, but the Father, uh, frankly, has not done his responsibility on delivering that gospel. Uh, to have a fool for a son brings grief. It brings uh, unending sorrow because it is, they don't have the wisdom. They don't have the relationship of Yahweh. Um, and that is, they don't have the beginning of wisdom. Verse 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. We can only have a cheerful heart if we have the Spirit of God. Uh, but if a crushed spirit, meaning that it is a rejection of the Holy Spirit, um, it is it just dries up the bones, has no life in any part of our being. 
Verse 23, a wicked man accepts a bribe in secret to pervert the course of judgment. One big thing is uh, bribes aren't necessarily bad, as we get to see in the Old Testament, uh, that people are striking uh, contracts with each other. But when it's done in secret, that means there's something that needs to be shameful of. That is something that needs to be reflected upon and discerned about, uh, not in survey, because it just, it perverts the course of justice. It should be public. It should be in the light, everything that we do. If not, then we're walking in the ways of sin. Verse 24, a discerning man keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. A discerning man keeps wisdom in view, meaning that it keeps it in front of us. Remember, as we keep talking in the Proverbs, that we take that step back. Discernment helps us to take that step back because we want wisdom in front of us, guiding us, directing us, its eyes on our future rather than our eyes, the foolish one, uh, the sinful one, if he uses his eyes, he's going to be distracted and wandering all over the earth because something might seem good, something might seem bad, uh, something might seem sinful, uh, and we continue to walk, walk towards those things rather than taking that discernment step back. Let wisdom go before us, let Christ go before us, and uh, he leads us in this paths of righteousness as Proverbs continue to speak about. Let's pray about that one. Now, Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for the friends and brothers in Christ that we have to hold us accountable. Help us to not just build secure walls around our lives uh, because of what we've invited into our lives, but rather us put everything into the light. Let us put our sin into the light uh, so that it can be forgiven and transformed in our lives so that we don't need uh, our own protection. We just walk forward in the wisdom wisdom of Jesus Christ. So help us, Lord, just take that step back and let wisdom walk forward and let us be disciples, followers of that wisdom this day. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.